Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing some applications of arithmetic and geometric se uh, sequences. So in the first example here, it says, Zara decides to start improving her fitness by going swimming. She swims the first length of the pool in 2.5 minutes. The time she takes to swim each length is 10 seconds more than she took to swim the previous length. Uh, a, find the time Zara took to swim the tenth length. So what's happening here is um, the first length of the pool it takes her 2.5 minutes to swim that amount. Okay, so firstly, now we're talking about incre increasing by 10 seconds each time, so we want to change the 2.5 minutes to seconds, first of all. So 2.5 minutes is 2.5 minutes, which is equal to, well, one minute is 60 seconds, so that's going to be 120 minute, 120 seconds plus 30 seconds is going to be 150 seconds. There's 150 seconds in 2.5 minutes. So you can just take 2.5 times 60 on your calculator if you want, and you'll get 150 seconds. So anyways, 150 seconds, now that's the first length of the pool, so it's going to be 150 seconds. Each time her, each time she swims the length of the pool, her time increases by 10 seconds, so her next, uh, her next leg is going to be 160 seconds, and it's going to be 170 seconds, and so on. So you can see this is just an arithmetic sequence where the common difference is 10. It's increasing by 10 each time. Alright, so we have an arithmetic sequence increasing by 10 each time. It says find the time Zara took to swim the 10th tenth, tenth length. So the question is really asking what is u10? What's the 10th term in this sequence? Okay, so we can use our formula. Uh, u sub n equals u sub 1 plus n minus 1 times common difference, and we're looking for u sub 10. So u sub 10 equals the initial, or the first term in the sequence is 150, plus n minus 1, so it's going to be 10 minus 1, times common difference, times the common difference, which is 10. So we just work that out and simplify. We get 150 plus 9 times 10, which is 150 plus 90, which equals 240 seconds. So on our tenth, uh, our tenth leg, she will have a time of 240 seconds. So that answers part A. Um, part B says, let's go read the question. Which length will she take five minutes to swim? Okay, so which length will she take five minutes to swim? So we could set up this equation again, um, where we have u sub n equals, and we know the initial amount is 150, plus n minus 1, times the common difference, which is 10. So we're going to say which length uh, which length will she take five minutes to swim? Well, five minutes is going to be 300 seconds. Okay, so five minutes plus 300 seconds. Let's multiply by 60. So what we can say is uh, the u sub n is 300. And we can solve for n. That will be finding which length uh, gives you time of 300 seconds. So we can do this. We can work this out. Um, we can subtract 150 from both sides of the equation. And we get 150 equals n minus 1 times 10. We can divide both sides by 10. And we get 15 equals n minus 1. And then we can add 1 to both sides of the equation. And we get 14 equals n. 
So on the 14th leg, she'll take 300 seconds or five minutes to uh, swim across. Okay, so that's an example of an application with an arithmetic sequence. Next example, Peter is starting his first job. He will earn 24,000 euros in the first year and his salary will increase by 4% every year. Calculate how much Peter will earn in his seventh year. So let's take a look at what's happening here. He starts off with uh, 24,000 euro per year. And then the next year he earns 4% more. So what you need to do to get the next year's amount is you multiply by 1.04 and then multiply by 1.04 then multiply by 1.04 and so forth. Every year your salary increases by 4% so you to do that mathematically you got to multiply by 1.04 and the question asks in A how much will Peter earn in the seventh year? Okay so it's just a geometric sequence where the R value is 1.04 and the U sub 1 is 21 or 24,000. So we can uh, set up a formula. Our general formula is U sub n equals U sub 1 times R to the power of n minus 1. And we're looking for U7, which is the seventh year. So that's going to be 24,000 times the R value, which is 1.04 to the power of n minus 1 which is going to be, now n in this case is 7, so n minus 1 is going to be 6. So I can just work that out on my calculator now, and I've got the, the answer. That's going to be 24,000 times 1.04 with the power of 6 and we get about let me change that to my approximate equal to sign uh, 30,367 point 66 so 30, 30,000 367 point 66 euros is the amount of money Peter will earn in his seventh year. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Um, I'm going to try part B now. Part B says, use technology to find out how many years it will take Peter to earn more than 40,000 euros. So what we can do is we can use the general formula um, U sub n equals 24,000 times 1.04 to the power of n minus 1. We can use that formula in our calculator to find out when it will earn more than 40,000. So we need to change this to our calculator notation. We need to change this to a function. So we're going to say y equals 24,000 times 1.04. And this is exactly how it's going to be on the calculator to the power of n minus 1. And not, not n minus 1, actually. It's going to be x minus 1 on the calculator. So we type it in on the calculator and look at the table. We should be able to find out when he earns more than 40,000 euro. So we can uh, press y equals up here. And we can write down... Uh, function that we just talked about, 24,000 times 1.04 to the power of x minus 1. And we can go to then second function, table. And we can see the different amount, different uh, salary amounts he makes every year. So you can see the first year he makes twenty-four thousand, then it increases by four percent every year. And when does he make more than forty thousand? That would be 
after 15 years. So the answer to part B is after 15 years, he makes more than 40,000 euros.